Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are watching this demo from. My name is Sara, and I'm a pre-sales solutions consultant at Atacama. And today, I am pleased to offer you a short demo of our metadata management solution, the One Web application. But first, I would like to introduce Atacama. Atacama reinvents the way data is managed to create value on an enterprise scale. By unifying data governance, data quality, and master data management into a single AI-powered fabric across hybrid and cloud environments, Atacama gives your business and data teams the ability to innovate with unprecedented speed while maintaining trust, security, and governance of your data with our flagship platform, Atacama One. The Atacama product portfolio is built on a single vision. The quality of data has a fundamental impact on the success of your business. The better the data, the better the business performs. Whether it is the amount of money spent on marketing campaigns, customer experience, or the ability to analyze the uniformity and completeness of data received from a third party. We care deeply about our ability to execute and deliver business value, and therefore have focused our platform on a couple key main differentiators. A unified integrated platform, limitless integration options, and flexible deployment styles. The Atacama platform, namely Atacama One, is a single data governance tool that encompasses both metadata management and data management. Today, we will be focusing on metadata management and tackle use cases such as data discovery and profiling, lineage, data cataloging and curation, data access, as well as how data quality is integrated within our solution. However, this is only a subset of the capabilities Atacama provides with the One Web application. Now the One Web application can be utilized by anyone within your organization for their data governance and data quality needs. And it is best known for its easy to use and intuitive features. Upon launching this application, what we're greeted with is your knowledge catalog, which is another way of saying your data catalog, and it is home to all the data assets that you've chosen to profile and gain insights about. Now within my own knowledge catalog, what I have is a list of data assets that I've already chosen to profile. But let's say for example, you're utilizing this platform for the very first time, or maybe you wanna create a connection to a new data source and begin profiling data that resides there. What we would do is navigate to sources and select create to establish that connection to the new data source. And from here, we'd fill in details such as a name, as well as a description, and physical connection details, such as a JDBC or ODBC URL. And once we select save and publish, it'll appear in our list of sources where we can begin browsing it and profiling the data that resides within it. Now with Atacama, there are countless connectivity options available, so connecting to your data should not be an issue. Today, we'll be focusing on one data source in particular, which is a cloud database that hosts some customer data that we'll be exploring. And once I open up a data source, I can see information that I filled out upon creation, such as a description, which I can edit later on should changes need to be made. But once I navigate to connections, I can begin browsing this data source. So this database specifically has multiple different schemas that I can choose from. In this case, I'm going to select the first as it contains that customer information. And within this schema, we have multiple tables I can choose from. In this case, I'm just gonna focus on my one customer's table, but I could select multiple tables of interest, such as employees and offices. And once a table or multiple tables are selected, we can begin profiling. And Atacama offers three options when profiling. You can choose to profile all the data and gain the maximum amount of insights possible. We can also choose to discover the data, in which case you profile only a subset of it, maybe the first 100 records, the size completely up to you, or what you can choose to do is import it to the catalog, in which case during profiling, you're harvesting all the metadata that you can without actually taking a look at the data. So this is information such as your data source location or the number of attributes or records. Now, once we select our table and we get, begin profiling, it'll appear in our knowledge catalog, which was the landing page we first saw when we launched this application. Now, once your data asset is within your knowledge catalog, we can see a summary of the profiling results. 
such as the terms that have been detected. And your terms are things such as your business terms or your key performance indicators, which are hosted in your business glossary. We can also see if anomalies are present, as well as an overall validity score and additional metadata such as number of attributes, records, and location information. Now, what we'll notice within my own knowledge catalog is that I have data assets coming from multiple different data sources. I have some coming from a Postgres database, some from a Microsoft SQL, and some even coming from our Massey Data Management solution. Now, what Atacama offers is one centralized location to curate your data. So you're not restricted to what data you can profile based on its source. You can profile data tables coming from multiple different sources and have them hosted in one central area, namely your knowledge catalog. And from here, what I can choose to do is select my catalog item to begin exploring those profiling results. But let's say, for example, I have 100 catalog items and customer is somewhere in between. What I can choose to do, in addition to manually searching for it, is leverage the searching capabilities that Add a Camera provides. So what I could do is begin searching for customer. And once I do that, I receive a list of catalog items that contain customer within its name. But if I scroll further down, we also receive catalog items that have no indication of, of customer within its name, but it contains some form of customer information, such as an ID, as well as a name. So this is an example of the advanced searching capabilities that Add a Camera provides. But in addition to leveraging searching options, we can also choose to apply filters. So if, for example, I want to see catalog items that contain personal data, I could apply this filter, in which case the catalog quickly filters the results to only give me those assets that contain the sensitive information. And these filters are completely configurable based on your organization's needs. Now I'm gonna open up our customer's table so we can begin taking a look at those profiling insights. Now, once opening a catalog item, what we're greeted with is our overview page, where we have a list of attributes that are present within this table, as well as different domains that exist within each attribute. And these domains are domains that have been detected through both AI detection, as well as detection rules. So these terms here with it, that have a suggestion as well as a confidence score is an example of AI detection. So what happened was the platform when profiled in this customer's table saw similarities between this data and information that it's seen before. And as such pri provided a suggestion to the user which they can then accept or decline. But what a user could also choose to do is leverage detection rules such that if a data set or an attribute matches a certain pattern or a specific criteria will automatically apply a domain to it, which is what has been done for USA city, state, and zip code. But what we could also choose to do is manually tag a term to it as well. And in addition to applying it on an attribute level, we can also apply it on a table level. And within our overview, we can take a look at summary information as well as relevant stakeholders and define relationships to other catalog items. Now our customers table, as we can see, has a child relationship with a products and employees table, as well as the parent of multiple other tables, and there's a derivation relationship. So with Atacama, you can define all these types of relationships using the out of the box relationships that Atacama defines, but if none of them quite fit your criteria, you can also build your own custom relationships as well. And once we do that, we see it in natural language right within our overview page, but we can also see it visually within our relationships tab as well. Now related to visuals, what we can also choose to do is take a look at our lineage. And with your lineage, what you're essentially seeing is where your data comes from and where is it going? So here we have our customers table. And if I choose to expand the attribute customer name, I can see where this data is coming from. In this case, it's coming from two tables, CRM client, as well as a CD country table. And on the opposite end, I can see where this data is going. In this case, it's going to a customer's underscore H table and it's traveling further along the way. So lineage is great for use cases such as impact analysis, where you wanna see what the impact of bad data quality has on your following other data sets. 
Now, with Lineage, Atacama partners with Manta to provide this Lineage information, where we then display it in a simplified view for your users to take a look at. Now, well, from here, what we can choose to do is take a look at profile and data quality insights as well, in which case we're greeted with a summary of those results on an attribute level. But once I take a closer look at an attribute, we can see additional analyses that have been conducted during the profiling process such as we can see data quality insights. We can see a mask analysis, which shows us what our data looks like without explicitly telling us what it looks like. So in this case, 30% of the time, it's been 10 consecutive digits, but 7% it's been two digits followed by a decimal, two digits and a decimal and four trailing digits and so on. We can also see frequency information, such as how often a particular value has occurred, as well as see length statistics and quantiles information. And this type of profiling and these type of analyses have been conducted on each attribute existing within our customer's table. Now, related to profiling, what we can also take a look at is data quality. And with data quality, we can see the aggregate data quality score of our customer's table, which in this case is 39%, and is based on the following data quality rules we've chosen to apply. Where we see each data quality scores, what we can choose to do is hover over each to see that clear breakdown of how many records are valid versus invalid. So this is what we can, we can see it on a table level, as well as on an individual rule and an attribute level. And what we'll notice is that our overall validity score of 39% is less than these individual validity scores. And the reason for that is that with Atacama, once it fails one data quality rule, it is automatically considered invalid, which is why this result is less. Now, everything we've seen so far within this platform, as well as all the information available within this platform has an endpoint. So this data can be accessed through an API call and can be consumed, can be consumed by data and analytics systems, such as Power BI and Tableau. And related to data, what we can do is within this data tab is take a look at what our first 50 records of our customer's table looks like. So we can browse through the multiple different attributes. However, if data contains sensitive information that your users should not be seeing, we can choose to disable this option. And related to the data viewing and restrictions, we can also configure access as well, such as which roles have specific types of permissions, so we can have owners, editors, or viewers, as well as different types of roles as well. And we can map specific roles to each permission level. So you don't have to manually map each user to a specific role. And in addition to the data controls we have in place, any single time a user makes a change within this platform, you can trigger an approval workflow. So no unauthorized user is making changes that they are not qualified to do so. Now, overall, Atacama One is a modular platform that enables you to build solutions that best fits your organization's needs. Today, we focus on metadata management components, but you can pick and choose which components are right for you or choose to start with one to two components initially and expand further along the way. Ultimately, these components all come together to form the one solution. In terms of pricing, Atacama licensing is easy to understand. To predict potential growth, we believe in simplicity where possible and hence offer licenses based on the following three metrics, which provide complete visibility of the cost. The first is the backend engine, so the Atacama One engine, which is licensed per CPU core. And this relates to the volume of data, number of rules and their complexity, and processing requirements. There's also the number of users accessing the web stewardship interface, as well as the number of desired environments for the solution. Overall, Atacama offers multi-year subscription licensing, ranging from one to five-year commitments. And in terms of support, the Atacama team of support engineers works hard to respond to all incidents in the shortest possible timeframes. Customer issues and requests are recorded in the Atacama web help desk, which provides facilities for both the support staff and management to view the status of tickets, assign tickets, and escalate tickets to ensure prompt resolutions. Customers may also access the system to monitor incidents. Support requests are subsequently processed through the standard workflow as defined by SLA. Thank you so much for watching today's demonstration of our Atacama One solution. 
If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our team for more details. Thank you.